Hello there, my beautiful Capricorn friends. How are you? Welcome back to Sacred Knowledge Tarot. I am so happy and thankful to each and every one of you for being here with me today. So thank you everyone. And those of you that are brand new to my channel, hello and welcome. My name is Ria and I do these readings every week. Now I'm going to start your reading off here Capricorn with a passage from this beautiful book called The Luminous Humanness. It's written by Kelly Sullivan Walden. And after I read this passage to you, I'm going to go ahead and pull three tarot cards from my tarot deck to see what message spirit has for you. And then at the end of this tarot reading, I'm going to go ahead and pull a clarifier card, a bonus card and an angel number for you as well. So stay tuned for all of this, my friends. All right. So today's passage is called don't make it, allow it. All right. So you are incredibly powerful with supernatural strength and with your thoughts, you can move mountains, part seas and birth realities, Capricorn. But do you really want to work that hard? Do you? When a lion sleeps all day, it appears to be lazy. It isn't. While it's snoring, it is cleverly storing up energy for when it's needed. Today, make your energy count. Instead of squandering your precious mojo and running around looking busy, trying to rally everyone in your favor or getting upset over issues that aren't worth your precious vitality, spend your time attuning to source. Once you are, tr once you are truly plugged in, sit back and marvel at your witness, marvel as you witness your visions dream a fest into reality here, Capricorn. What a powerful message for you today. I'm going to go ahead and read the affirmation that comes with this passage as well. I create a space for blessings to have an uncumbered place to arrive and reside. So look at that. You can use that affirmation for yourself today if you like. I'm now going to pull three tarot cards and see what spirit would like you to know today, Capricorn. So spirit guides, what do my beautiful Capricorns need to know today? So we've got one card falling out. We are getting the queen of, queen of Wands. It's a very beautiful energy here for you, Capricorn. This is where you put your love, care, and attention into the things in your life that you want to see growth in. I feel that a lot of you are being inspired or are feeling inspired to create right now. Create the life of your dreams. Maybe there's a project that you're wanting to work on. This is a very feminine energy. So spirit guides are really wanting you to be open and receptive to all that is coming your way here because you're going to grow with this energy that is coming in. All right. So Capricorn, I also want you to use your own intuition with my reading. So whenever you see my cards popping up, I want you to try and interpret them using your own intuition. Not only will this strengthen your intuition, but you will receive your own messages. All right. So remember that we all live different lives, life experiences, and these cards are going to represent themselves in your lives, in each and every one of our lives differently. All right. So we're also getting the eight of cups. Lots of things that I'm seeing some of you leaving behind, turning your back on. And these are things that aren't favoring you right now, Capricorn. And I feel that it's time for some of you to really look at the things that no longer serve your higher purpose. These could be things that are holding you back. Whatever this is, it could be a person, it could be things, it could be patterns, it could be habits. Whatever these are, it's now time to walk away. All right. I do feel this is going to be a little bit hard for some of you to walk away from things because some things are habits or these are patterns or things that have been in your life for a very long time. All right. And eight of pentacles. It's time to get to work Capricorn. Okay. And this card is not meant to be taken lightly. You need to devote yourself to the place that you want to see growth in, and you're going to experience growth in many different forms here. Look at all of these pentacles for you Capricorn. This is all of the hard work that you are putting into the things that you want to see um, growth and abundance through, right? So there's a lot of this coming through for you. Spirit guides are letting you know that whatever it is that you're working towards, whatever it is that you're wanting to create, it's time to roll up your sleeves and get to work. This is very serious. All right. Devote your energy to this place, whatever this is for you, whether it's you looking for a job, really put that energy in and focus on finding a job. And if it's a, a new career, if you're trying to build a business, if there's a project that you're working on, it's time to get serious and roll up your sleeves and get to work. All right. So 
This is such a powerful energy. This is such a powerful spread for you today, Capricorn. I do feel a lot of you are in this position right now where, you know, you've got the confidence, you have the courage. There's almost like this spark that is lit in within you, this inspiration. There's something that you're feeling, something that you're wanting to do, something that you're wanting to create here. Capricorn, it's now time to do it. I feel you have a very strong energy, a very, um, uh, there's this masculine energy that I'm feeling coming through, but I also feel that balancing that out by tapping into that feminine energy is also going to help you in a positive way here. All right, because I can see that you are wanting to get to work. And even though spirit guides are wanting you to get to work here, Capricorn, I feel that you're ready to do this and you're ready to really put that work in, to really put that energy into that um, project, whatever this is for you. The spirit guides are also wanting you to nurture yourself and really be open and receptive to the blessings that are coming in and all the things that you're meant to learn and grow from as well because I feel there's almost like a learning curve coming in for some of you and perhaps you are meant to learn or pick up a skill set, right? Um, maybe you're building um, a business, you know, perhaps this is a YouTube channel where you might not know everything that it is that you need to know in order to build this thing. Um, this is where you need to learn, pick up some extra knowledge, dive into some books, right? So it's all about learning and using that um, learning and growing from that place. All right, putting your love, care and attention and really taking care of yourself along the way here. I feel sometimes we can be so inspired that we give so much of our energy to this one thing that we forget about ourselves. So you have to, to be, you know, balance that work life um, energy here. So I hope I'm making sense here for all of you. I, I feel that, um, you know, this queen usually is about creation. She's also about delegating. She's very loving and caring. So this is the energy that spirit guides are really wanting you to embody. Those of you that are working on a project, you know, in business, maybe this is at work. I feel a lot of you are in a leadership role, a management role somewhere in your life. Maybe this is at home. This is where you ask people around you for help, delegate, right? Um, you have a really good support system. I feel for a lot of you Capricorns out there, you do have a good support system. Friendships, maybe even family members, where you can ask them for help as you are moving along your journey. Now, I'm feeling this turbulent energy coming in because I feel with the Queen of Wands energy, not only are you inspired, but there's a manifestation taking place in your life right now. And this turbulent energy that comes with manifestation when it's taking, um, when it's, uh, what is the word I'm looking for here? <laughs> when it is uh, coming into fruition in your life, this is where everything in your life starts to kind of transform, morph, if you want to call it that, right? Things start to shift a little bit. So if you're feeling this turbulent energy of this shift, know that this is your manifestation actually coming into fruition. So spirit guides are really wanting you to ride the momentum, flow with this energy, do not resist it. This has to happen, this change has to happen. And not only that, use compassion towards yourself. Be loving towards yourself as you're going through this change, Capricorn. All right. Um, there's a lot of things that are kind of shifting and this turbulent energy is coming in and it's really um, it's maybe taking you out of your comfort zone, right? I feel some of us have been in our comfortable place for a long time. And if you're wanting to experience growth, if you're wanting a change and you're really wanting to level up in your life, that change has to come in. So understand that, my friends, that if you're wanting change in your life, you first off, you have to be that change you want in your life. But if you manifested something, in order for that manifest manifestation to come into your life, you have to be ready for it. So because that transformation is happening, it's actually building you and molding you into that version of yourself that is going to be able to receive that manifestation. This is why you have the Queen of Wands energy because you're not only feeling inspired, but spirit guides are asking you to use that feminine energy to be open and receptive to what's coming in. All right, so the Eight of Cups. So lots of things that are currently in your life that are not benefiting you in any way here. These could be friendships. These could be habits. These could be the way that, the, you know, the thoughts that you think here. I'm seeing a lot of you walking away from this. Maybe you've had a bad habit in your life that you're finally shedding, 
right? There's a lot of shedding happening here. It's like I'm getting the image of a snake. So I feel that you're shedding your old skin here, Capricorn. You're really coming into this new place. I feel a lot of you have been working out. You're really taking care of your physical body. You're getting rid of bad food, garbage food, even mentally, like the things that you are consuming in your life. I feel you're starting to also release yourself from fear mongering um, information online, maybe watching garbage things that really don't benefit you in any way and replacing this with education, really um, adding value to yourself through the things that you watch. I also feel some of you are going to release friendships that are no longer benefiting you. These are friendships that are kind of holding you down, almost keeping you in a stagnant place, right? This is you walking away from many different things that are no longer serving you at this time. And I feel this was a long time coming for some of you. Some of you have been wanting to make changes in your life for a very long time. And you know what these cups are that have been kind of your security blanket for some of you, right? It was a security blanket. Maybe whatever these are is like a soothing mechanism to um, keep you in a place where you're not feeling so anxious, right? So I'm getting, I don't know if some of you, uh, this is what I do in my life sometimes, which I kind of, I haven't walked away from this is ice cream. Ice cream is my soothing mechanism. I love ice cream and I'm not walking away from it. I'm just limiting it and considering it a moderation with ice cream. And I'm also um, walking away. I'm not a Capricorn. Uh, I'm a Gemini, Sun, Rising, Leo, Moon. But I'm experiencing this right now where I'm starting to focus in on my health. So I'm trying to get rid of processed food, things that don't benefit my health. And I'm joining yoga and doing all of these things to keep a really well-maintained body, especially for my age. I am in my mid-40s now, so I have to focus on my well-being. So some of you are focusing in on your well-being and you're starting to get rid of the things that are no longer serving your physical body. This could be things that are not, not serving your mind, body, or soul, right? Um, walking away from a lot of things, even walking away from a toxic job. Sometimes this is very important, right? Your mental health is way more important than sitting and stressing and having to deal with the drama that sometimes comes with these toxic environments. So I'm seeing some of you walking away from many different things here, Capricorn. And I feel that again, and I, I'm sorry I'm repeating this, but I do feel that some of you have thought about this for a very long time. You have given this some serious thought and you're actually seriously thinking about walking away. Some, some of you have already done this. Some of you are in the process and making plans of doing this. And I feel there's something much better on the other side of this place that you're really um, creating that life that you have been desiring, something that you have been envisioning in your mind for quite some time. And I feel that for some of you, this may have been a slow process, right? You're kind of like, okay, I've got to mentally be ready to do this. I have to physically be ready to do this. And now that you're at this point, the timing is right. Even, you know, divine timing might be at play for some of you. You're finally now doing this where you're walking away from the things that no longer serve your higher purpose. And the eight of pentacles is here as well. So you're focused. I feel that you're going to devote yourself to this new place, this new identity even, right? And I do feel for some of you, this is a new identity in a way because you're shed shedding that old skin and you're coming to this new version of yourself where you're this new person who is focused on your health, your well-being, your wealth, your mind, your happy place right? So if you're creating a, a business, if you're creating, I, I feel a lot of you are really um, done with your nine to five. I'm really feeling this for a lot of you, like you're done with your nine to five. That's not, you know, some of those jobs are, um, I feel the world is actually shifting and a lot of us are walking away from our positions. We're looking for different things because what's happening in a lot of workplaces is they're understaffed, right? So they're putting a lot of weight on many of the people that are currently working, especially those of you that are nurses out there, you're feeling this big time. Those of you that are in the medical industry, I even feel like there's a lot of staff turnarounds. There's this almost like transition happening. And some of you, this, this uh, working hard might be you're trying to up yourself in the place that you're in right now, career wise. So you're devoting yourself to growth, 
in that place as well, right? So lots of different things at play. And again, this is why I say to everyone um, to try to interpret these cards for yourself because not only are you going to strengthen your intuition, but these cards are going to represent themselves different in each and every one of our lives. So the Eight of Pentacles is all about rolling up your sleeves, dedicating your, to yourself to that place, taking your life seriously and working hard, putting your energy in the places that and the areas that you want to see growth in right so i'm seeing so many different things kind of working for you and you know what through you doing this capricorn i'm seeing so many different blessings like look at all of these pentacles these are blessings coming towards you this is growth in your material world so you're going to experience a lot of growth a lot of happiness a lot of joy and excitement in your life through your hard work and your efforts all right i feel you have a vision you know exactly where it is that you're trying to go. You have your destination point, right? You can clearly see it in your mind. Some of you have even created a landscape in your mind and you know you know exactly what that version of you are in this place in your mind. So you're bringing that version of yourself into your now and, you know, going to the gym, really focusing on the kind of foods that you're taking in, um, the kind of information that you're taking in, what you're focusing your energy towards. There's a lot of work that is going into creating and building this place for yourself. And know that all of that hard work is going to pay off. You are going to be rewarded for this. And there's a cause and effect happening here as well. So everything that you're working towards, you're going to see the ripple effect, right? Everything in our world, everything has a ripple effect. Everything has a cause, everything has an effect. And it kind of rotates, right? So we've got the Queen of Wands energy. We have the Eight of Cups. What else am I seeing here coming through these two cards? Um, you know, doing the best job possible here, Capricorn. And I feel that a lot of you are very good at doing this. Now I'm getting a Gemini uh, energy coming through. I'm also getting a Leo energy coming in. So I don't know if you have this in your uh, birth chart somewhere, uh, Capricorn, if the, that the Gemini and Leo is somewhere in your birth chart, or if there's someone in your life that is play playing a significant, significant role in your life that might have those signs in their birth chart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the videos for these two signs at the very end of this video so that way you can watch it and kind of decipher for yourself if there's someone with that energy around you because I feel that these people are going to have a very positive impact on your life, this Gemini Leo energy, okay? And there is there definitely is creation happening and paying attention. I feel a lot of you are very thorough with your work. And, you know, envisioning that place and you're really paying attention to the details, reading the fine print of every, everything, just understanding everything. Like you're, I, I'm getting this like sponge feeling that you're taking in knowledge like a sponge. You're really wanting to do a good job here, right? And I feel for you, uh, Capricorn, this time it's a little bit different. I feel some of you have tried letting go, have tried to kind of create this lifestyle a little while ago maybe you've given it a try and it worked for you for a little while but then you kind of got off that uh, path and now you're reinforcing it now but this time it's a, a bit different and this time it's for life this is what i'm feeling this energy here that you're really taking this very seriously that you're really wanting to see that success in your life and i feel it's because um, you're in a different place now you're in a completely different place so you're going to really devote your energy to this growth, to this success, and you're going to experience the stability that comes with this, this place of feeling almost free. It's that freedom that some of you are seeking and this is coming towards you. Maybe you're wanting to break free from that nine to five and create your own business. I feel a lot of us are branching towards that now, right? That we are looking at building our own empire. And I feel this is exactly what a lot of you are doing right now is building your empires. You want to leave behind um, your essence, right? And I feel this is exactly what you're doing, Capricorn. You're letting go of things that no longer serve you. You are inspired. You're very being very compassionate towards yourself, but you're also open and receptive. You're working hard. You're putting in a lot of effort. You're devoted to creating this lifestyle for yourself. And that love, care, and attention is going into everything that you are currently creating, right? That attention to detail through that love, care, and nurture. You are watering every plant that you want to see growth in in your life. 
this in in itself is going to um what is it that i'm trying to say here this in itself is going to prove itself to you by you doing this if i'm making sense here if you're understanding this capricorn oh my gosh and i feel that you're going to be in a powerful place I really do. I feel a lot of you are really doing something big here. So I'm now going to pull a clarifier card for you, Capricorn. This is the nature's, sorry, this is the Whispers from Nature Oracle deck. So I feel nature plays a huge role in guiding us in our life. So I'm going to pull a card here and see what spirit would like you to know today, what they would like to clarify with you. Have any of you seen a bird's nest recently? anywhere whether it's an, in a picture on the internet in real life i've seen a few actually so if you've seen a bird's nest this is confirmation from nature that i'm going to read you this card here a bird's nest is a symbol of hearth and home for younger people a bird's nest bodes a potential fast move out for all it signifies potential repairs to the current home or even a career change so look at that that breeze of change is coming in and the bird's nest is a confirmation of that so maybe you have some adult children that are finally moving out of the house or perhaps i feel it's the reverse as well that you might be experiencing an adult child coming back home for a little while right because the world is expensive and i feel that sometimes uh, our adult children need a little bit of help I also feel that some of you, again, are uh, making a career change or making re uh, renovating your homes, right? Maybe you're working hard, getting rid of things that no longer serve you, and you're really shifting things in your home, right? Because that's a place where all that love, care, and nurture goes is your home. That's your happy place. So look at that bird's nest for you today, Capricorn. All right, I'm now going to pull a bonus card for you. This is the Animal Spirit Oracle deck spirit animal oracle deck i'm going to pull one card and see what we get and read the interpretation from the guidebook for you today all right capricorn i'm so excited i don't know if any of you have been seeing feathers recently feathers is a big good luck sign that good things are coming your way that there's change coming your way as well so yep this is coming through for you so mouse spirit capricorn have any of you seen a mouse recently it's letting you know tend to the small things all right so mouse spirit for you today i'm going to read you the interpretation from the card now this book comes with oracle messages and protection messages i'm going to read you both all right so let's uh find this mouse here where's where's this little mouse here in this book here we are. So the oracle message for this card, Capricorn, is the humble mouse pays attention to the smallest details and the mouse spirit calls on you to notice the nuances and the fine print at this time. In your eagerness to, uh, in your eagerness to meet your goals and pursue your dreams, it is easy to forget the importance of clear communication and tending to the little things including people's subtle signs that they are unhappy as well as the voice inside of you that says, this doesn't feel right. Take your time to sniff out what you need to know. Is there some detail or nuance about how you engage others or operate in the world that is key to your success, but you've too readily dismissed as nothing big or um, as nothing special? Capricorn. Mouse spirit reminds you that what seems small may be more important and powerful than you think. So look again, my friends. Do not underestimate yourself or your potential for co-creating something amazing when you pay attention to the details. Now, this card asks you to pay attention to details as well. This is a part of the Eight of Pentacles energy. Now, the protection message for this card for you, Capricorn, is are you too caught up in details, micromanaging others and stressing out because you want everything to be perfect? Are you procrastinating because you want every detail to be just right? and losing track of time and your priorities. Mouse Spirit wants you to listen to your intuition that tells you that the detail you fear you are overlooking will only appear when you stop obsessing. Mouse Spirit will lead you to the nuances you need to notice and will diligently work to support you. And if you take a, a breath and trust that guidance will be provided. Small gestures carry great power right now. 
And maybe you need to take action towards discovering what is going on that you may not be seeing or towards amending a relationship or a situation. Ask a question, do a little research and listen for the mouse spirit, quiet little squeak telling you, look here and attend to this little detail. Capricorn. So that is your bonus message here through the spirit animal oracle deck. All right, I'm now going to pull an angel number for you as well. So some of you have been seeing angel numbers. This is going to give you your confirmation. And for others, you can use this as an affirmation. All right, so we are getting here at number 44. I am supported. So if you've been seeing 44, this is your confirmation that you, my friends, are supported at this time. And I was getting that support coming through the Queen of Wands energy as well. So I do feel that a lot of you have a loving support. And if you feel that you don't know that you have support on the other side through your spirit guides and through the universe. All right. So let me read you the message on this card. Number 44, your angels are encouraging you to continue on your path, on your present life path, with the diligence and determination and even greater success will come in the future. So again, this is the Eight of Pentacles card coming through number 44. So if you've been seeing 44, remember the Eight of Pentacles card is there, letting you know that things are going to work out for you, that success is coming your way, paying attention to detail, all of that is at play. Now I'm going to leave at the end of this video for you Capricorn, the Gemini and Leo videos, especially if you're curious about who these people are in your life, you can watch these video videos and decipher for yourself whose energy is around you right now that may play a big part in the role to your success, that support some of you are seeking, right? Or that support that may be around that you may need, you never know. So this is your reading today. I hope it resonates for you. If it does, please comment below, hit that like button. And if you're brand new to my channel and you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing. Other than that, I wanted to wish you all a beautiful day and thank you so much for watching.